Hi everybody, my name is KDZ Firefist, and welcome to Undertale God Mode Merciless Run. And I am super excited to be playing this, because, as I said before, I am not going to be sparing anyone. It's not going to be genocide, because I can't do this in genocide. As you can see, my stats are up. Above the roof, I am all freaking powerful. <laughs> so we'll be seeing what this does in the game. I'm probably, I'm pretty sure it's just gonna be like super quick run through, just mess with everyone. But this is gonna be a god mode merciless run. I'm not gonna be sparing anyone that crossed my path. I'm not gonna go out of my way to kill everyone. This is not a genocide. This is not a genocide run, but. I will see what this does for me. <laughs> Excuse me, I just had breakfast. The mm. ones are full of puzzles, ancient fusions between the virgins and door keys. One must solve them to move from room to room. Please adjust yourself to the side of them. Nice. To make progress here, you will need to trigger several switches. Do not worry, I have labeled the ones that you need to flip. I've also already played this, like, multiple times. The human living in the underground monsters may attack you. You will need to be prepared for the situation. However, don't worry not, the process is simple. When you encounter a fight, when you encounter a monster, you will enter a fight. When you are in a fight, strike up a friendly conversation. Stall for time. I will come res to resolve the conflict. Practice talking to the dummy. Jeez, holy crap! I know I said god mode, but dang! This is not gonna be, this is not gonna be, um, this is not gonna be like a neutral, and this is gonna be a massacre, holy crap! I don't really think even Toriel's gonna stand up to this. Frog it, oh no. Yep, I'm just gonna be like running through this. This is puzzle here, take my hand for a second. Come on, Tori! I've done this like 800 times, you should know that I know this puzzle by now. I know this is boring, right? Like, when you play the game hundreds of times, you get a little tired because there's only like three really big ways to play it and everything else. Just like, I wonder what this does, I wonder what that does. But that's the point of the game, right? It's just to see what happens and what. There's like so many different variations of it. You have done excellently this first talk. However, I have a difficult request to ask you. Not really difficult since I just murdered a couple of things. I'd like you to walk to the end of the room by yourself. Forgive me for this. I'm also going to go for betrayal kills if I can manage it. Music, right? I like retro games. There she is. Greetings, my child. Do not worry, I do not leave you. <laughs> I was really behind the pillar the whole time. Yeah, you're still gonna leave me. Thanks, T. Thank you for trusting me. However, there was an important reason for this exercise to test your independence. I must attend to some business, and you must stay alone for a while. Please remain here, and it is dangerous to explore by yourself. I will give- I have an idea! I will give you a cell phone. If you need anything, just call. Be good, alright? That's weird. Cause, uh, it, uh, yeah, it's not really weird. She just gave me a cell phone and left me alone. It's kind of like what parents do <laughs> normally. It's just weird, right? Uh, like, monsters have been trapped underground. Like, the era is completely unknown, yet somehow they have internet, electricity, and cell phones. Anyway, but it, it, I learned that if you stay in the room for, like, I don't know, for a very long time, like 30-something minutes, you'll get repeated calls every five minutes or so from Toriel telling her that she's just doing a thing, that the annoying dog steals her cell phone. And then she spends all of next time trying to find it. It's kind of funny. <laughs> Rank. Hello, this is Toriel. You have not left the room, have you? There are a few puzzles ahead that I have yet to explain. 
It'll be dangerous to try and solve them yourself. Oh yeah, I'm also not going to be getting any consumables. I will be. I will, however, pick up the other armors, but I won't be um, equipping them because I'm doing it for like symbolic reasons. Because it's the armors of the other children, and I kind of like to see that. I probably should have up to my money. I'll make it. I'll make the money as I go along. It shouldn't be too hard. Holy! Ah oh man, I'm worried. I wonder what's gonna happen when I come across like a monster that has a higher HP. Cause I can't be really hurt because like. No, oh, shoot. I'm sorry. I'm zooming through this. Hello, this is Toro. You do not like. You do not dislike butterscotch, do you? I know what your preference is, but would you turn up your notes if you found it on your plate? All right, I understand. Thank you for being patient, by the way. I know, as like a gamer, I should be playing the game normally, but there's so many others that have been playing it normally, so I'm doing something new. I'm doing a hacked god mode merciless run. Frog it hopped close. Frog it just turned to dust. Hello, you don't have any allergies, do you? Huh? Why am I asking? No reason at all. I actually contemplated starting this at, tw at level 20, but I'm pretty sure Sans would have learned this and. I didn't want to. I didn't want to get the hackers and things, so I'm just going up like normal. Ah, crap! I don't really get that. I don't. I don't understand how I got that. No. Oh. Jeez, I'm a freaking demon. <laughs> oh, I'm like. I just. There's like no mercy in any of this. I know what I said, but still. You said you could push me around. You're asking me to move? Away? Okay, just for you. Alright, how's this? Even as we never run across any talking rocks afterwards, forgive me. Apology accepted! I am a monster. Hey! I mean, as we never see any other talking rocks, it's just that one. Move it with force, yes. You know, we you can't kill a ghost, right? We're sort of incorporeal and all. I was just being. I was just lowering my HP because I didn't want to be rude. Oh. <laughs> Naps the book. You are the one friend everyone needs. I just made this more awkward. Can you beat me? <sighs> ah, oh, dang it! I lost. I lost one. Alright, I'm not getting any consumables because I'm going to kill Muffet. That's another thing I learned, that if you keep a spider donut all the way up to the Muffin fight and then eat it in front of her, uh, the fight ends almost about immediately. Like, she like calls you a thief and the spider comes out, No, no, he did buy it, so here's his receipt and shit. And like, oh, okay, go free. Hello, I just realized it's been a while since I cleaned up. I was not expecting company soon. There are probably a lot of things lying here and there. You could pick them up, but do not carry more than you need. Someday you might see something you really like. You want to leave room in your pockets for that. <laughs> Sorry if I'm not talking so much, I'm not kind of used to talking to myself a whole lot, and uh, I, my mouth kind of hurts. <laughs> not from what you think. 
I had a lot of breakfast. I feel like I, I feel like I'm being Kara and all this. I know I named myself Kara, but still, like doing this love, doing this over and over again, and doing it with like God powers, kind of feels like. <laughs> I don't, I don't know how to describe the feeling, but it feels pretty cool. Yeah, that's the problem with these. Um, <clears throat> problem with these uh, multi battles is cause I still get damage. It's just reduced to one damage at a turn. Okay, here's the big one, Toriel. Oh, I don't. I'm gonna feel bad killing Toriel. I just can't hear my tell you. <laughs> there, there. I will heal you. I should not have left you alone for so long. It was irresponsible trying to surprise you like this. Can I hide it any longer? Come, small one. <laughs> Let's save. You smell that surprise? It's a cinnamon butterscotch pie. I thought I would have loved on the spot. This is it. A room of your own. Sorry if I'm skipping all the dialogues, just I've seen it already before, and I'm pretty sure um, the, those who are watching this have already seen most of Genesis, most of Undertale, or have played most of Undertale, so they know what the dialogue is too. Hope you like it. So, if you're watching this, then you're watching a hacked version of a No Mercy run. And I strongly suggest you find another YouTuber to watch the original, the watch the pacifist or genocide run. Oh yeah, Tori said she was gonna bake me a pie. Yeah, I told, I said I'm not gonna pick up any consumables, so I'm not gonna take that. It's you! I don't know if this is true or not, but if you do a merc- uh, if you do a genocide run, and then do like a pass- a soulless pacifist run, and then do a neutral run or something, or some other run after the soulless pacifist, I think you'll see Kara's reflection in the puddles. Up already, I see. I'm glad- I want you to know how glad I am to have someone here. There are so many old books I want to share. I want to show you my favorite bug hunting spot. Oh, so pre prepared a curriculum for education. Overnight, she made all this. She is too pure. I hate that I'm going to have to kill her afterwards. <laughs> Does that feel weird? Like, you know how nice someone is? Like, oh, I'm going to kill you. <laughs> I may come as a surprise to you, but I always wanted to be a teacher. Actually, this isn't... Perhaps that isn't very surprising. Still, I'm glad to have you living here. Oh, did you want something? Well, can I go home? This is your home. Would you like to hear about this book I'm reading? It's called 72 Uses for Snails. Wait, something about chainsaw? What? Oh man, did I skip a snail fact that I didn't see before? Oh, jeez. I wonder what my fun value is. <laughs> you wish to know how to return home, do you not? Ahead of the ahead of us lies the end of the ruins. A one way exit to the rest of the universe. I'm going to destroy it. I don't doubt that you can destroy it, though I do doubt your methods. And your reasonings. No one will be able to leave again. Now go upstairs and go. It would be a good job to go upstairs. So I don't know much about the barrier, but I feel like it encompasses the entire mountain. So even if we do fall in, we can't really leave. Well done.
Uh, sorry, let's continue. Every human that follows the hunt here meets the same fate. How do you know they meet the same fate? Did you check? You don't answer your phones. I've seen it again and again. They come, they leave, they die. If you leave the ruins, they as or will kill you. I am only protecting you. Do you understand? Go to your room. That's a little, uh, confusing. <gasps> she her, she knows. She doesn't leave the ruins. Then, like, Asgore calls her and says, Hey, got another soul! <laughs> Do not try to stop me. This is your final warning. You want to you want to leave so badly? Hm. You just, there's only one solution. Prove yourself. Prove to me you're strong enough to survive. I didn't think that would work! Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry! <laughs> you are stronger than I thought. Oh yeah, like massively strong. It's like Tom, I got nothing out of me. <laughs> Listen to me, small one. If you go beyond this door, keep walking as far as you can. Eventually, you will reach an exit. Asgore. Do not let Asgore take your soul. His plan cannot be allowed. You know, at the start of this, you think Asgore's like some monster, like absolute evil monster. Because everyone here is a monster, but he's like the worst. Because he's dangerous, his plan cannot be allowed to succeed. Be good, won't you? I just murdered you, and I plan to murder others. Hi, child. Really take that. Can I take that? Gimme, give gimme, give gimme. Give I don't get it. How do you absorb a monster's soul? Ooh, let's see what Flowey has to say to us. <laughs> I hope you liked your choice. After all, it's not as if you can go back and change fate. You know, it's funny that he says that, because I actually can. In this world, it's kill or be killed. That old hag thought she could break the rules. She tried so hard to save you humans. But when it came down to it, <laughs> she couldn't even save herself. What an idiot. Well, that was weird. It's not that he's evil, he just says I have a soul. He's doing this for funsies. Because he feels obligated to. By Toby Vox. <laughs> uh, sorry. Yeah, I'm not really scared. I've seen Sam do this a lot. I'm probably also going to be like a jerk, maybe? I'm thinking about doing like jerk mode. Like just being an absolute asshole. <laughs> Human. Don't you know how to greet a new pal? Turn around and shake my hand. Yep. <laughs> they got the whoopee cushion in the hand trick. I want a whoopee cushion. Like, it's like a joy buzzer, but it's not. It's a whoopee cushion. I want one of those. It's always funny. Anyway, you're a human, right? That's hilarious. I'm Sans the Skeleton. I'm actually supposed to be on watch for humans right now. But, you know, I don't really care about capturing anybody. Now my brother, Papyrus, he's a human and a fanatic. Hey, actually, I think that's him over there. I'm gonna go to the skate thing. Yeah, my brother made it. The bars... Yeah, I go right through. My brother made the bars too wide to stop anyone. Great crime that conveniently shaped lamp. <laughs> 
sup, bruh? <laughs> you know what's up, brother? It's been eight days and you still haven't recalibrated your puddles! I had someone who did, like, the voices for me, because I can't really do the voices! <sighs> Sorry, I had someone who did the voices for me, but I can't really do the voices myself. You just hang around your stage and what are you even doing? Staring at the slab, it's really cool. You wanna look? No, I don't want- I don't have time for that. What if a human comes through here? I want to be ready! I will be the one! I must be the one! I will capture a human! Then I, the great papyrus, will get all the things I utterly deserve! That's all what we all want, right? How does this scarf move? There's no wind. It's like every time he does that poses, it moves. Respect! Recognition! I will finally be able to join the Royal Guard! People will ask to be my... friend? <laughs> I will bathe in a shower of kisses every morning. It's a lot of people. Maybe this lamp will help you. Sans, you are not helping, you lazy bones. All you do is sit and boondoggle. You will get lazier and lazier every day. Hey, take it easy. I got a ton of work done today. A skeleton. Sans! Come on, you're smiling. I am and I hate it! Ah, why does someone as great as me have to do so much to get some recognition? Wow, sounds like you're really working yourself. Down to the boat. <laughs> uh, I will attend to my puzzles. As for your work, put a little more backbone into it. <laughs> <laughs> no matter what, that always gets me. <laughs> That's why I feel like Okay, you can come out now. Actually, hey. I hate to bother you, but can you do me a favor? I was thinking, my brother's been a bit, been kind of down lately. He's never seen a human before, and CQ might just make his day. <laughs> Don't worry, he's not dangerous. But even if he tries to be, thanks a million, he'll just be up ahead. <sighs> the convenience of that lamp still fills you with determination. Level 5. Okay. So, I'm gonna stop it here for right now. Thank you all so much for tuning in, and I hope that you greatly enjoyed this... Ah, I don't know, this uh, game thing, I don't know. Thank you for tuning in for this episode of Undertale, the Merciless God Mode thing. God Mode, God Mode Run, I should have said that. I'm sorry, I suck at words, I'm working on it. <laughs> anyway, thank you so much for tuning in. If you like what you saw, please subscribe, because there will be more videos coming up in the future. And, and if you really, really enjoyed this so much, also press the like button i could use all the views i need anyway thank you so much for tuning in and i will see you all for the next episode